exponential growth exponential growth which is the same as population and growth problem population and growth problem now population and growth problem have similar differential equations or model as compared to the one that we just did that is the exponential decay sometimes we the same as the radioactive decay all right in the population in the population model in the population model the rate of change of population is proportional to the population at any time t and is given by this is given by the p that is the p the t which is going to be now here is not going to be r but the constant of proportionality here is going to be written by r p r p all right r p now here there are some things that we need to take note here the corresponding initial value problem which the corresponding initial value problem with initial population that is p naught the so the IVP is going to the p of zero is the same as p naught and you know that already from the uh, exponential decay from exponential decay all right so anytime we are asking state the IVP that's how we state the IVP that's how you are going to state the IVP all right here there is a need for you to take note that the area the area is the population growth rate is the population growth rate and P is the population at any time T at any time T all right and another thing that you need to also take note that is that is that is the area does not contain negative sign the area does not contain negative sign since since the population is an increasing function since the population is an increasing function as compared to decreasing function all right so if it's an increasing function if it's an increasing function then there is no way that here is going to be positive but if it decreases it will be negative all right so there is around that and the, the same thing the same thing as what we did in exponential decay if it increase it will no more be negative but if it decrease it will be negative all right so depend whether it's increasing or decreasing very good very good all right and here to the general solution or let me say the particular solution is going to be p of t is equal to e raised to the power this is going to be e raised to the power let me bring the p naught p naught e raised to the power r p raised to the power r t that is it that is it very good so now without wasting my time let's solve questions let's look at about two questions and see what we are going to do okay so let's look at the first example under exponential growth or uh, population and growth problem all right the, the population of a particular community the population of a particular community is observed please is is please is is <laughs> please is is <laughs> please is is <laughs> the population of a particular community is observed to increase concepts to increase that means that the area can never be negative all right is increase at a rate proportional to the number of people present at any 
any one time. In the last five years, the population has doubled. How many years will it take for the population to be tripled? Or uh, to triple? Very good. It's a nice question. And you always know our guide. And our guide is going to be like, let's say the IVP. It's coming from where we say the IVP. It's going to be the P, the T. Yeah, the R is positive, so that is the P. Very good. Mm -hmm. So that is our guide. All right, we know that the P of T here denotes, we know that the P of T that we are going to find is going to denote the population at any time, at any time, and K, sorry, and the R here is also going to be positive because from the question it is increasing. Very good. Let's continue. At a rate proportional to the number of people present at any time. In the last five years, in the last five years, the population has doubled. In the last five years, the population has doubled. Very good. So, what this means is that at where t is equal to 5, the population doubled. That is 2p. That is 2p. Now, let me write this here. You forget about the IVP for now. Now, the P of T here, yeah, you know that this, when you do it, it's going to give us P naught E raised to the power RK. Yeah. P naught E raised to the power RK. Very good. Now, the question is saying that in the last five years, the population has doubled. And that is what we have here. That is at P of 5, the population is. Double. Very good. So for you to state the IVP, you can bring this and this. No problem. See it. Very good. Mm -mm. So yeah. What are we to do? How many how many years will it take for the population to triple? But before that, wait. Now the P let's go and find P of 5. So wherever you see T here. Wherever you see T here, you put 5 there. Wherever you see T here, <laughs> supposed to be T. Wherever you see T here, you put 5 there. So we get P naught E raised to the power 5 R. 5 R. So what this means is that this P of 5 that we have here. Is the same as 2p. So this implies that p naught e raised to the power 5 r is equal to 2p. So that is that. That is that. Alright. And okay, so now we have oh, you can choose. Okay, so this is going to be p naught. Very good. So now, let's move on. So here, you can see clearly that with this, this and this will cancel. So we cannot go and solve for the R. That is the way. We cannot go and solve for the R. We cannot go and solve for the R. I would like to clean. I would like to clean this part. So, we get E with the P not to cancel out. So E with 4 or 5 R is equal to 2. Take mean of both sides, mean of both sides. You are just answer this. 5R is equal to 2. And R is equal to 2 over 5. And when you solve that, 2 over 5, or 1 over 5 times 2, is going to be approximating to, to be approximating to 0 0.13. Eight six. All right. So that is the R. Now that we have the R, then we cannot go and rewrite our 
particular solution to be B not E raised to the power instead of R K we write sorry instead of R T we write zero point one three eight six T. Now you can see clearly that here the R is positive because from the percentage it was observed to be increased. So here it increased. So there is no way that you are going to get that to be what negative. All right. So one is double. That is what we have. Let's go for when. That is how many years will it take for the population to triple? How many years? So that means that we are looking for time. That means that we are looking for time. How many years will it take for the population to triple? Alright, so is it called this? For the population to be triple. So that means that B not equal to point zero point one three eight T. One three eight sixty will be equal to so to find the time at which the population has tripled, we multiply three by B naught. We multiply three by B naught. That is the initial population. And here you can see that divide here by B naught, divide here by B naught. This will give us a cancel. And when it cancels out, we cannot go for the time. We cannot go for the time. So here, 0.31386t is equal to 3. And when we take mean of both sides, then we can get this to cancel out. So 0.13860 t is equal to the 3. And t will be equal to the 3 over 0 0.1386 1386. Alright? And what is this going to be proportional to? When you put this on the calculator, you're going to get it to be approximate and say proportional to. This will be approximated to 7.9 years. 7.9 Yes, alright. So that is all about that. Just go back and play the video to get it stick. Alright, even if you watch it three times before it stick, it is better. Alright, it is better for you to grab the concept. Very good. So that is that. That is that. Since here we know that, since here we know that. In the last five years, the population has doubled. So for the double, we know the time. So that helps us to get the rate, which is the R. Which I get it, which is the R. But how many years will it take for the population to shrink? For that one, we don't know the time. So that is now that is known. So you can say that this one will be eight years for it to be what triple. It's not difficult, it's just easy. Alright? Very good. Thank you. Now, let's look at our last example. Okay. The question 2 is on board. The question 2 is on board. Culture of bacteria. Culture of bacteria grows proportional to its current population. A culture of bacteria grows proportional to its current population. If the initial population of 500 bacteria increase, wow, I hope that is telling you something. If the initial population of 500 bacteria increase by 50% in 8 hours, what will the population be in one day? What will the population be in one day. Alright. 
So the first thing to do is to write the guy. The guy. I love this. Facts. Know it of her. That's going to be the guy. Now in some books, it's not R, but they still maintain O. R together. In some books, they still maintain it to be K. It's still the same thing. Very good. So let's move on. Now, when you read the question, it says, if the initial population of 500, this is just telling you that B0 is 500. Alright. Now, let's continue. If the initial population of 500, okay. If the initial population of 500 bacteria increased by 15%, Increase by 15% in 8 hours. That means that at t is equal to 8, what is coming? This bacteria <laughs> that uh, <laughs> if I can <laughs> okay, if the initial population of bacteria bacteria here, yeah. so after every 8 hours, it increased by 15%. Alright? So we are going to multiply this by that 15%. By the 15%. Which is the same as 500 times, when you convert this, you get 1.15. 1.15. And it's going to give you 575. Please, how are you getting it? Let me come back again. If the initial population of 500 bacteria increased by 50% in 8 hours, that means that the initial condition first, sorry, the initial population is 500. But after every 8 hours, it increased by 15%. That means that you must try it by the 15%, and that is that. So this is what we get. At where T is 8, we get 575. Bacteria. I hope it's clear. Very good. Thank you for your understanding and I trust you. Mm. Now, the question is now, what, 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 what? The question is what will the population be in one day? In one day. But here, yeah, since this is given in our eyes, then let's go back. So, we know that the thing here, so, so, supposed to be in hours. Alright. So that means that one day will be 24 hours. One day is going to be 24 hours. Let me see this. One day is going to be 24 hours. Hours. Very good. So we move on to state our particular solution. R T. R T. I like writing R T. R T. All right. So now let's move on. So let's then go and look for. The rates because we don't know the R. Let me consider. We don't know the R, so we can't go for this unless that is known. So let's go for the R. So to go for the R, we know that after every eight hours, we get 575 bacteria. So B of T represents 500. 575 bacteria and that will equal to the initial which is 500 times the R is what we are looking for and the time here is going to be 8 since we are using this the time here is going to be 8 please here we don't use the initial we don't use the initial very good so Okay, so yeah, we divide each side, or we divide both sides by 500. Then 
Today's council is to hear you for a parish code. Here, we are going to get one point. One point one five. Then we take the name of both sides. So when you take the name of both sides, this one will so we get eight hours because we need one point one five. Very good. So for us to get R, we divide both sides by eight. So R will be equal to Right. Eight. All right. And that is going to be zero point. Now you can see that here too. Since uh, we are getting it to be positive, that means that to increase. And the question, the question, uh, yeah, it was specified by that uh, it was specified that five hundred bacteria increased by fifteen percent. So the R is going to be positive. Zero point one seven. Four seven. So we after we get the R, then we now come and write the root again. B not E raised to power zero point zero one seven four seven T T T. All right. So that is what we have for that. So now we are now going to answer the question. Since Say the R is no. Okay. So since the R is no, then we can now go and find and find the question say that how uh, what will the population be in one day? That is 24 hours. So we put T to be equal to 24. So B of 24. Is what we are looking for. All right. B box, that is the initial, that is 500, times E raised to the power 0 0.01747, times T is 24. T is 24. And we end up by getting our results to be 760. So we're going to get 760 bacteria. So we are going to end up by getting 760 bacteria each day. Each day. So every one day, then we're going to get 760 bacteria. Very good. So that's all for that in this video. In fact, I'm challenging you to go and find out more questions or more tutorial questions to solve. Trust me, it's going to build you up so that any question that you make in your error, you will be able to face it. Very good. In case of any challenge also, you can let me know and I will help you out. Thank you. Now, what are we are going for in the next video? Exponential growth and exponential decay. A application is application under biology is application to biology so the next is going to be application to economics then we move on like that